my people wonder they say shall never end. Hmm. Now wow. You see, eh, polygamy no be anybody's met, seriously. Even when something we suppose make everyone day happy happen, you will see them still fighting themselves because of jealousy and the unnecessary competition. My people, <laughs> you see this uh, new baby we be say to be born for new of if uh, uh, stories. A lot of stories don't they come out immediately. This news we just got uh, here about it that should be yesterday. And ever since that yesterday till now, a lot of people and the co-wives have been coming up with their own topics. Allegedly, oh, allegedly, I do not live in the palace, always bear that in mind. First, we heard that uh, uh, Olori Mariam told the king that, look, oh, hmm. I told you earlier that uh, your wife Toby was not pregnant and uh, she was trying to arrange something. <laughs> And she also insisted that she must travel abroad to go and have her baby. Thank God at some point you discovered that she was having fibroid. <laughs> it will be better for you to go and do DNA test too before you accept another another man's picking. <laughs> allegedly, oh, allegedly, I wasn't there. Oh, now here, I hear. Oh, mm -hmm. They are all alleged. Oh, they are not for standing formation. They said, Mariam advised the king that, look, oh, before you welcome these people inside, before you welcome these babies, babies are good things, oh, yes, oh, no doubt. But when you welcome another man's baby in your house, it is not going to be a good thing again. That is advice from Mariam to the king. Allegedly, I wasn't there, now, so I hear them. So, they said, after that one, now, oh, Lord, it told me, wrong, with her own you know a lot of people said that uh, Mariam that Mariam is speaking out of jealousy that she is just jealous that Toby is pregnant and she couldn't uh, get pregnant that is why she's been uh, uh, she's in that manner that she's supposed to be very happy for Toby at least Toby have break a record for them because they have this uh, they have been this uh, 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 information that uh, uh, they, they said if a priest said that none of them will be a children, at least that part have been broken, you know. So they're all supposed to be very happy for Toby, but from what we are seeing, it'd be like say, no, be all of them, now they happy for Toby, oh, mm -hmm. but does it matter? My own is let at the end of the whole thing, let the children belong to the uh, king, that is the most important thing. Because with all of this uh, news flying uh, up and down, <laughs> may God help us. So, so guys, now we are hearing that the Ronke, Olo Ronke, have come up with her own. First, she started suggesting to the king that you see this uh, preparation, because we heard that before uh, Toby and the ch children will be accepted back into the palace, that they will have to do this uh, uh, celebration. It was during this period that the king will, you know, wear these kids, the royal beard, yes, to welcome them officially into his palace. Uh -huh. So that should be, that is supposed to be their plan at this point and not DNA test. Then from what we are hearing, they said, uh, Ronke suggested to the king that the best thing to do is uh, first do the celebration on a lake or, or on a low key that the economy is hard but before that that it will be better that uh, he look into what uh, mariam said concerning the dna you know that it is a dna result that will determine the le level of uh, celebration <laughs> they will prepare and there is this news we heard they will heard that if the children does not belong to kbsc Mm? Because when I know say the only woman I know who give him belly, whether you believe it or not, that is what it is. But the only reason, the only reason I'm believing that uh, the child might belong to KBSC or that their own case is different is because we heard that if you're married to the king as a traditionalist, that he will do something on you that no other man can cross you, unless he did not do it on those women. 
because I believe if you do it on them, no other uh, man will cross them. Otherwise, there will be problem, you know, unless he did not do that to these women. And that is the only time they can be able to, you know, bring in their boys, you know, because if you check the kind of marriage where they did, they need people who go to service them because the king, you know, go finish all of these beautiful things all alone. <laughs> You know, if not, some of them, their own go rust. You know, that place at Anchara, because the king know they get time now. Some some part go they rust now, especially those ones with bad character. Uh -huh. So it's either then they use uh, all this artificial stuff, or they have people where they do them for them. Uh -huh. But if the king do those that thing where we they talk about on them, it simply means that uh, no man will cross. Uh -huh. So, and another thing I heard is this, if these children are not from Kabir, so the moment they were taken into that uh, shrine where the king will do something on them and uh, uh, put the royal bead on them before handing them over to their mother, they said there will be a sign, something must happen to prove that these children does not belong to the king. But let me tell you, see these days, a lot of things have changed. You can no longer trust all this afar and their, their activities these days. Yes, so, because with some amount of dollar, you'll be able to shut them up and they will even turn the deities, of, especially the deities of truth, they can turn them uh, upside down <laughs> to work in their own favor, you know? So, at times, you cannot trust those things. Uh -huh. So, but I believe DNA uh, will not disappoint. Yes, so, so that is why we heard that uh, Ronke have suggested to the king that it will be better that uh, he listen to Olori Mariam and if possible, carry out the DNA before uh, they will be welcomed back to the palace. That is what we are hearing allegedly. Oh, allegedly, they are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace. Then a lot of people are saying that these people might be right though, because when I know say they know better, all of them know better. Why other people are saying that there could be a uh, possibility that uh, there is something Mariam know that made Toby kneel down and beg her before uh, giving birth to this children. I don't know. I don't know. Well, but some people said. Uh, Toby gave birth in Leife Kingdom. Why others are saying that she she traveled abroad? I don't know exactly where she delivered her babies. But what we heard is that Toby is fine and the babies are fine. And that is what matters uh, most. And I pray that let these children belong to KBS because we want more children from KBS, especially boys. <laughs> so guys, I don't know what you think. Whatever you think, share with us on the comment section. And don't forget that these are all alleged information. Please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching love you guys bye for now